Hey guys, welcome to the gun shop and today we're going to be looking at this, the Beretta 695 game. This is the flagship of the 69 range. Comes in a very nice box, as you can see. Brown suede, that's nice, with a little pouch for your instructions, pajamas, and a full set, five chokes with a choke key, and of course, Beretta oil. Anyway, let's take it out of its plastic wrap and have a look. So it comes with a hand-finished walnut pad on the back. That's really very nice. Color matched, grain matched extremely, extremely well. In the box, it's also a spare soft pad, so if you do feel the need to go and put some slightly heavier loads through and want something a little bit more forgiving, that is available to you. This leads on to what Beretta call a grade three, but what everyone else in the world would call a grade five walnut stock, and it is very well figured, this particular one. As you can see, you've got beautiful fiddle back grain going across the stock there, that's beautiful. Inlet in the bottom of the stock is an oval to take your initials, and that's quite a nice little touch as well. Moving on, we have the standard Beretta game, very open radius pistol grip, that works very well. The only thing I will say is actually that the laser cut checkering is not as sharp as perhaps it could be, and as such, it doesn't feel like it's contacting your hand too much. So either they need to go for a slightly more open pattern or chase these up by hand. Moving on, we have the Beretta 690 safety catch with those lovely ridges down the back and the same red dot for bang, and this is automatic safe. So let's talk about engraving. Beretta kind of broke the mold with this actually. It's a really unusual style for them to use as deep cut acanthus, but I really like it and I'm very, very glad that they have used it. Uh, so it runs all the way around the action, across the bottom, just with the odd little bit of Beretta branding and a touch on the trigger guard. That's particularly nice actually, it's a very nice thing. Probably my favorite feature of the engraving on the gun are these double carved fences here and actually how they catch the light with the clean cuts and the engraved centers is just very, very well thought out. All over this gun actually is really, really nice. Very, very well produced indeed. The only thing I dislike about it is just the border engraving round here. It's the only thing on it that just doesn't quite look finished. But apart from that, it is, I think we'll all agree, rather exquisite. Also I've mentioned your little disc covers here also have their own little engraving pattern and that it's just very nicely finished. It's very well thought out and goes very well together. So the four inch matches the stock, has the same checkering pattern and is of a Schnabel finish. That's the only thing I dislike about this gun. I think fashions have changed from Schnabel, certainly more into the rounded four end and perhaps that might suit it a little better or perhaps just to have a little peak a little tulip peak on the bottom might have made a little bit more of sense. The rib is a six mil plain rib with a silver bead sight at the end with solid mid ribs. And as we said, a set of five internal chokes. The bores are bored at 18.6. And as such, this gun is not too kicky. It uses the same six nine action as the rest and the same six nine barrels as the rest. So actually for the weight, which is seven pound nine, it's not too bad in terms of recoil. My only qualm is it's a little front heavy. And although they do give you the spare pad, what they don't give you is spare B-fast balance weights. Uh, it is ready to take them, however, they don't supply them, which for a full retail price of £4,150, maybe is an oversight. If you look around, you'll find these for less than that, obviously. Stock length with the wooden pad comes in at 14 and 5 8 and the drop on this particular one is 1 and 3 8 and 2 and 1 8 Cast is 1 8 of an inch. Generally speaking, it's not a bad fit. It's not a bad fit at all. Perhaps the only thing I will say for a game gun, it's a little bit high and maybe doesn't have enough cast. But obviously fit is so personal that they just bang it somewhere in the middle and hope for the best. I think this is a really good looking gun for the money. What is nice is to see Beretta putting somewhere between their £2,000 guns and their double E double L at £6,000. What I would have really liked to see would be the colour hardened golden glade edition, a little bit like the Silver Pigeon 5 was. Overall, I don't think anybody can deny this is a good looking gun. It's got an awful lot of very nice features about it that perhaps just aren't particularly Beretta. Especially this one has exceptional, exceptional wood. Um, that said, I've not seen an ugly one yet. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, welcome to the gun shop.